Hello guys, in this lecture I'll teach you how to upload multiple files using Dropzone.js and PHP. So let me quickly walk you through the file structure that I have here. First you see here that I have a project folder and within the project folder I have script folder and style folder. In the script folder I have the Dropzone.js JavaScript file which is required in order to use the library and I also have a link to dropzone.css. I'll actually place a link to download these two files in the uh, description section of this video. Uh, next, I actually have the index file here. And if you look at the very top, I have the title, multiply uploads, and I have a link to reference the dropzone.css file in the styles folder. And next, I have a link here to reference dropzone.js file in the script folder. I have another folder here, uploads. So this is going to basically store all the files that have been uploaded. I have parser.php. This is going to handle the server side of the program. So basically when the user uploads the image, this file will process the image and uh, upload them to this folder. And I have another file here view upload.php this will basically allow us to view the uploaded files back to our index file here you can see that i have the opening tag for html form and the closing tag and uh, actually left at the ink type and the input type for the form here because including the drop zone css class here we actually attach those class automatically to this form so, and I have a paragraph here with a link to view uploads.php uh, page. So now let's go over to the parser.php and write the script. The first thing I want to do here is to check if the user is actually uploading a file. So I'm going to say if, if it's not empty, I'm going to check the PHP file global arrays. If this is not empty, we're going to store the files the user is trying to upload into a temporary variable. So we're going to say files. Then we're going to reference the temporary name. Next, I'm going to create a directory separator here. Directory separator. So this will be equal to the PHP constant for directory separator. So the next thing I want to do now is to actually create a variable to hold the name of the folder where we'll be uploading the files to. So folder equal to for us here, this is going to be uploads. Create a variable and store the destination part in this variable. Destination part should be equal to, I will reference the absolute file name. Then concatenate this with my directory separator. And then concatenate this with the actual folder. So this is going to be folder. Okay folder dot then directory separator let me echo at the result of this so that you can actually see what i'm doing here so if you go over to the browser and uh, okay basically before i do that i need to remove this check so go over to the browser comment out this line refresh and here you're actually seeing the absolute part to the upload folder and you're actually seeing the directory separator which is uh, simply a slash okay so i'm going to go back to index and remove the echo from here and move the comment and return back the exclamation mark here so next i'm going to concatenate the name of the file being uploaded to our destination part. So I'll call this uh, target. Target part should be equal to our destination folder. 
then we concatenate the name of the file being uh, uploaded. So call this file. And then we just reference the name. Okay, finally, we just move the file to the destination from the temporary location. We move it to the target location. And that's all we need to do for the PHP upload parts so why there are a lot of things that you can actually do here like checking if the files actually been uploaded are pictures or depending on the, the file type that you require for your server or the system that you're building you can actually do all those checks before moving to the final target destination okay so i'm going to uh, preview this in the browser let's see how it looks so open our uploads. I have some pictures here. I've just dragged them here. One, two, and three. So if I come over again to these, I should see the files here. One, two, three. So now we're going to program our view uploads file. I'll just create a PHP tag here. First, I'll create a variable to store the name of the folder. So this is uploads. Okay, so I'm going to check if upload is a directory. So I'm going to say if is directory, then I'll pass it the name of the variable folder. So if folder is a directory, what are we going to do? We are basically going to open it. So create our handler here. Call this handler equals to open directory. And we specify the folder that we want to open, which is uploads in this case. Next, I'm going to create an empty variable called this output. Next, we're actually going to read the files within the folder. So I'm going to say why there are files in the folder. We're going to read the content. So it's a PHP read directory to read the handler variable. So I'm going to do one more check. I'm going to say if files is not directory, that's only when we're going to display the content. So if it's not a directory, we're passing the files variable from our while loop here. So basically what we're doing here is we are creating a variable and then we are reading the content of the directory that we actually open here. So here we opened this folder, which is our upload folder, and we store that within this variable and now, and now we're actually reading this folder. It's our upload folder and uh, going through each of the files in this folder and storing them in this uh, files variable. So next, I'm just checking here to see if this is not a directory. So the reason why I'm doing this check is it is possible that you have a subfolder within your uploads folder. So doing this check will prevent that from opening here. So we're just going to display our output here. So say output dot equal img src equal. So when you say uploads slash reference the files variable. And then we close this. Okay, so I'm going to escape this and specify width and height. Width because 180, and then height is equal 180. So, all right, I think that's all set. We need to do here is just echo out, echo out our output. All right, let's view this in the browser and see how it looks. So come here, this is our index. And we click on view. We have our three files here. I go back and I want to add some more files. I add this and I add this. If I click on view, I'm going to see all the files here. So take your time to research more about this. If you want to learn more about a multi-file upload using drops on JS, what we have just done now is a basic. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from ICT Design Hub.